Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio. I'm here today with a book flip. I actually finished a book during COVID. Uh, you know, kind of like a lot of people I've seen in videos, it's basically been hit or miss with uh, Creative Mojo. And I decided that I was not going to let it control me in the month of December. So I, I don't really do a December daily, although I did try to work on this every day. After Christmas, I did kind of let it fall by the wayside. So I decided to go ahead and finish this in the first part of January and get this off my UFO list, unfinished object. Um, so here it is. I do not have a belly band for this because I think it needs something stronger than paper. This is just a plain old rubber band. No, wait, it's not. This is one of those long rubber bands that I think I bought this at Daiso in Dallas, but I can't remember. I've had it a while. So it, it needed more than just your basic rubber band because this... Let's see if I can... Let's do it right now. This is on the expansion plan. <laughs> I think what this needs is a pair of stretchy waisted mom jeans. Because... <laughs> Oh, anyway, so this is a um, uh, blah, 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 a stamp, and I just stamped it and then did the stuff around the edge, the stamping. Um, all of these in the background, the gnome and the um, Christmas balls, I carved those in one of the December carves that I did. So these are mine. They're not somebody else's stuff. Um I had three signatures in here. As you can see, I put like my homemade washi down this way because I wanted to cover up where the holes were. This first one got so stinking fat that, uh, and then I started working on the second one, which was right here. And the third one was empty and I ran out of stuff that I was interested in putting in there. So I took the book apart. Well, I left the first one in and took the second one out and the third one out, and I covered up where the second one was and moved it to the, the third slot because, I mean, look at it. There's no way I would have got a third signature in here. It would have been like this, and I would have never been able to close it. <laughs> so here we go. There's not a lot of, I'm not a really embellisher sort of person, like with the rhinestones and all the fancy schmancy glittery stuff. I'm just not that kind of person. Never have been. So it translated into my art. Um, some of this stuff I had left over from last year. This was a stamp that I carved, the flowers, and then the little square behind it. And I thought I would do a bookmark, and then I didn't put anything on the top, forgot. There's a letter, a Christmas letter back here. This is, uh, what do you call it, uh, felty, no, fuzzy, some kind of fuzzy paper. I love it. It feels so cool. All right. Then there's stickers that I turned into tabs, and here are buttons that came off of a really cute little button card that I think I bought off of, shoot, what's the name of that group? Oh, uh, crud. Peaches. Cheap, cheap peach or peachy cheap. Peachy cheap, that's it. I, that one, one year about, I don't know, six years ago, they had little cards, mini cards, that had all kinds of cute little buttons on them, and these are some of those buttons from the peachy cheap card stamps, a misguided collage of Christmas trees and trees. <laughs> uh, this is just scrapbook, or scrapbook paper. And then this was a piece of washi tape and obviously I need to glue it down because it's starting to peel up on the edges. This is a beautiful handmade Christmas card from Aunt Beck. And I just was bowled over. I watched her make them on her in her videos on her channel and I was so honored to to get one this year for Christmas. I don't want to open the inside up, but anyway, um isn't it gorgeous? That's a lot of work, peeps. A lot of work. All right, so these are just magazine clippings, some weird stamping stuff in the behind it. Then a plastic snowflake. I made these in 2018 to give as Christmas cards, and it had a green grow grain ribbon on the top to make it like a Christmas ornament Christmas card. And I have like lots of them left. So you're probably going to see them in every book for the next 10 years so I can use them up. 
these are just stamps from a stamp set. That they're nothing that I get excited about. This is a bow that came off of. Oh, I don't think I've. Oh yeah, it came off of this set with the bells, and the bells are a stamp set where you do layers. Very cool stamp set, and that the bow came from there. Boop. Where am I? There we go. Uh, I don't. Uh, this was a free. I think this was free paper off of some website. I can't remember. Just stamps. More bookmarks using that stamp that I made. And I made two levels of pockets out of embossed snowflake white cardstock. These I got from... Ooh, I think it was Shannon Green when she did um, a purge and we did bidding on stuff. I think this was in the Christmas package that I bought. There's tons of these paper um, cutouts. They're kind of thick and they're all embossed with some kind of a pattern on it. Like the tree will have all kinds of branches on it. And then there's snow. You'll see those later. But I really like the skates. They are very thick, and that's why my book is thick, is because they are not flat. I could have peeled them apart, but I just thought the fact that they popped up and would stick out better was wonderful. Um, this is my a, a card from my friend Susan down the street. This is um, Susan's grandmother's pumpkin bread recipe that she sent in the Christmas card. So I did because it was pumpkin, which is not really the Christmas theme, but it was a pumpkin bread. So I had a giant pumpkin stamp. So I used it on this page for that. This is a Christmas card from a friend that lives in Ware, Massachusetts, Barb. Then I got a lovely handmade paper ornament from my friend Geraldine in San Antonio. This is a Christmas card from somebody in the knitting club. Just plain ordinary Christmas paper. No, no embellishments, nothing. I just like the snowman Christmas paper. Um, this is a Christmas card, photo card, from my, my dear, 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 dear friend, Audrey, that I've known, geez, almost all my married life for over 40 years, and her family and Libby, her um, chocolate lab. She's just, just the sweetest dog ever. And there are her children. I was there to see uh, the twins born. And I knew the boys when they were, I think they were four and six when I met them. So they were little bitty guys. God, now they're monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and there are the grandchildren. So this is a lovely card from them. And I had to fold it up because there was no way I could do it on here. I make my book small. This is from my uncle, who is 90-some-odd years old. It's my father's oldest brother. There were three sons. My father and his younger brother have passed away, and he is my last uncle, my Uncle R.C. He lives in Texas. This is a gorgeous card from Cindy Utter. I did have to take her, part, her card apart just a teeny bit, so that I could get the rhinestones that she put on her card on the bottom of this one because I had to kind of cut it off a little bit. But I wanted to make sure all her bling was, was still on her card. Can you see it shiny? Isn't that awesome? And there's the card. And this one is a card from my friends that live in um, Tennessee. There's their family. Whoops, they have two daughters and they have a granddaughter. This is from one of the twins, my friend Audrey, that lives in Massachusetts. And they have a boxer. They're boxer people like we are. So there's our boxer, Tyson. He's so cute. And then this is from my family that lives in Panhandle, Texas. This is my only girl cousin. This one, uh, I cannot, that handwriting, last year I couldn't imagine, uh, I can't tell you who this is from. I can't. I don't know the handwriting. It's terrible. If you know who you are, let me know. <laughs> this is from the other twin and her family. They have two kids and two dogs. 
One of them's a Basset Hound, which we used to have a long time ago. This is um, just scrapbook paper and free printouts off of someplace, and these are from scrapbook paper. The background and the hat are scrapbook paper, and then this came off of something else. And, of course, there's that bow that I've used all throughout the book. These are stamps off the Christmas cards that I got. So I put Christmas stamps everywhere. This is from my friend Peg, who lives in Iowa. Oh, sorry, Claire. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. This is a giant card from my friend Barb. Now, I didn't want to cut her card up, but I had to to get it all in the book. So, I cut out the inside where she did the artwork, and she said this came from a pick-a-stick December the 17th, um, and that she wrote on here 1224, I think it says 17. Isn't that beautiful? And it has Silent Night, the, the words to the song, and she's got carvings and all kinds of stuff. It's beautiful. And there's the inside. Isn't that pretty? Just wonderful. And then I just glued these on the edge because I didn't want to just leave brown, plain brown paper. Then I scrimmaged, scrummaged, scrummaged, rummaged, that's the word. <laughs> rummaged through a box of, I have a drawer in my Ikea cabinet that's nothing but Christmas stuff. Christmas beads, Christmas washi tape. All the Christmas stuff is in one place together and it says Christmas on the drawer. So whenever I find something in a magazine that I can relate to Christmas, I stick it in the drawer. And then when the end of the year comes, I dump all that stuff into a project basket. And that's where I get all this stuff from because I've been collecting all year. That's just a sticker on some, a little square that I cut off. And there's a gnome that I carved and printed a long time ago. Again, just magazine clippings. Oh, there's that tree again. <laughs> Got to get rid of those trees. <laughs> this is all stickers. I bought some kind of a, you know how they have the, the stickers on the, the clear acetate. So I took it apart. It was a Christmas tree and lots of ornaments. So I just took it all off and glued everything all on one tree. And ta-da, it's done. And this is a rub-on. I don't have too many rub-ons, but that was my... I have a Christmas... a set of Christmas rub-ons that I really like. And these. I made these years ago. Got rid of, rid of these too. Okay, so here are those um, cardboard things that I got from Shannon's auction. And it just so happened on January the 10th, it snowed seven inches where I live here in Texas. That is unheard of. Believe me, we don't get snow. It's been, I've lived here, I think, close to five years. This is the first time we've had snow. So it's not like I see it all the time. So I was very excited. So I took um, stamp, a stamp and rubbed, you wouldn't see it rubbed off on here, but I took a light blue stamp for the snow and did those little pieces in here, all the snowflakes, and there's a snow that's like dripping off the house, which it did. Was super excited about the snow. What can I say? I know those of you who live in it all year and hate to shovel and stuff, I, I understand that, but that's the way I feel about the heat. Y'all are so excited. It's like hotter than Hades here, but I'm like, oh, we're melting. But when the snow comes, I am super duper excited. These are just pictures. Didn't really do a whole lot to this one. This one is Christmas balls. The theme on this page is Christmas balls. This, I can't remember where I got these, but these each each one of these is a little square of some kind of Christmas decoration. Looks like, almost like um, wrapping paper. I'm not sure where I got this from. Anyway, so again, using that. And then I found, I forgot I had um, some ribbon in my Christmas drawer. Whip that out. This is just uh, Merry Christmas pillows. Those are pillows somebody made. And then I put the tree to fill it in. And these are pillows underneath there too. They're just red pillows with uh, snowflakes. This one is glass ornaments and candy and whatever I could stick on the page. <laughs> this is a sticker. It's fabric. It's so cool. <laughs> Again, this is a miscellaneous, we're trying to wrap it up stuff. 
same here on this one. But these, I think, were these cards here were things that I got in the box from Shannon that I bought, or the kit that I bought from, from Shannon um, of Christmas themed stuff. And it was, it had the, I think these four cards were in it. And this is something I stamped, and then I put the washi tape on there. I think I tore this off of somebody's card or a page in a card. I can't remember who it was, but I really like the cardinal. And then this is just Christmas thing scrap of paper. And that's the end. Okay, so 2020 is in the bag. And then I will look forward to doing 2021. And I'm going to keep using the same size box. I'm trying to remember what box this is. I can't remember. Um, I don't think it's an effordent box. I have a friend who sends me all her effordent boxes, which I really like. Uh, I can't remember what this is. It's not a Lipton's onion soup box. Well, poo, I'll think of it later. Anyway, so there's my Christmas book for 2020. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.